WFNN. Headline News Update. Holy moly, guacamole, Batman. We've got gold at $2,044 an ounce at one time. Sold off about four bucks from there. Not doing very much. Ha, 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 ha. You would think so. With silver hitting $25 an ounce. The Federal Reserve from Atlanta came out today and dropped the GDP estimate from 3.5 to 1.8. And that sent stocks spiraling to the downside. We were up one time. We were up several hundred points in the Dow Jones overnight. Now down several hundred points. So not really much of a difference. Uh, less than 1%, which is really not too much of a difference when you consider these price levels that we're listed at. The U.S. dollar has gotten hit pretty badly, and this is one of the reasons why you see such a strong move coming into silver and into gold, which certainly not unexpected. The one thing that was unexpected to most people, except those that follow the trade what you see 24-7, and that is the bond move still keeps powering on, folks. It looks like we're going to be heading up to that 139 target. We hit a 133 and a half handle today, folks. We were 129 just a few days ago, as, as you might recall. But uh, interest rates are, you know, really, really fluctuating back and forth. Uh, so people are really confused about what to do. And by golly, I think that must be the Fed's job to make confusion, the, you know, the art of what's looking at. The one that's been in the news for the last two days, though, has been the crude oil. And uh, we said from the very beginning that this market's going to have a hard time getting above $82 a barrel. Uh, we hit 81.70 last night, and uh, we've dropped uh, just about $3 a barrel from that level. And so, you know, this is far from over the saga that's going on between Saudi Arabia and the gerrymandering that's going on between Capitol Hill there in Washington and what's going on. It's a political play, and we've been there, done that before many times. And so those of you that trade the oil know that that's not anything unexpected. Sure, as you get a big jump on Sunday night at $7 a barrel, now it's only $3 a barrel higher than it was then. So things are already starting to change. So let's keep in mind that we're going to have a show coming up. I'm going to be doing two hours uh, back to back, which is always a lot of fun. I'm doing something a little different today. So stay tuned. We'll be talking with uh, Stan Harley at the break. So stay tuned for Stan Harley. He's always great. The Harley Stock Market Letter. So we'll see you in a few minutes. 